I was glad that these men were aware that we were three. They didn't know who we were, but they knew that we were successful. So congratulations on the show. This is something definitely that your fans have not seen you guys in. So take right. more. I will start with you. Uh -oh. You have gone through two difficult public splits, right? And you've obviously healed out loud. Sure. What made you realize like that. that you were ready to step into the dating world on such a grand scale as a dating show? Um, because I'm ready for my person. You know, um, I was tired of meeting the same person over and over and over and over and over again. Like, I really truly wanted to meet an eligible bachelor who was ready for what I was ready for. Mm -hmm. And um, it, this seemed like the most safest place for me to put myself out there. Um, being as though it's Will Packer Productions. And, mm -hmm. you know, I knew that he wasn't going to exploit the things that, you know, we all have been through. And um, that they were really going to get, take care of us in the sense of where we are mentally and what we needed to fulfill spiritually. Now, we as Tay Martians know you as being the bold and spicy one out of the bunch, but a lot of women are different in relationships. Yeah. So what would mm. people be surprised to know about Tamar the wife or Tamar the girlfriend? Um, That, you know, it is the balance. I'm not always turned up Tamar at home, you know? Like, I really appreciate my position, <laughs> which is me not taking the lead all the time. I don't want that. I want mm. a real true partner, you know, where sometimes it's me, sometimes mm. it's him, sometimes it's the both of us. And um, I'm not loud and boisterous. I like to have a good time with my girlfriends. I like to have a good time in general. But, you know, when I'm at home, you know, like I'm mommy and I'm wife and I cook and, you know, I have a fabulous time, you know, making amazing memories with my family. And, you know, it's not television all the time. Now, for you, Nivea, you've been with a few icons, obviously. You know. <laughs> oh, oh, she better. And not a few icons. <laughs> oh, 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 you're an ex. You know, you're, you're an icon yourself. Oh, but were you oh, nervous thank about, you. about your potential suitors, how they would react once mm. you revealed how who you were and whether they would be intimidated by your exes? Right. Well, I was glad that these men were aware that we were three. They didn't know who we were, but they knew that we were successful. And I think... In the regular world, for me, it's always intimidating for men, even if it's not right away. It becomes eventual. It's like, dang, she really don't need me in in certain ways. Mm -hmm. When, But also, I'm glad because they should have realized I needed them in other ways. There's mm -hmm. many ways to show up in someone's life, Hello. not just necessarily material, materially or, or financially. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that people, I feel like this is kind of like a window into seeing who I am in general, because a lot of people have only made mm -hmm. speculations about the person they think that I am. And I'm glad I've gotten to show a little bit of myself. Right. To the world. Now, fans know you as, you know, the cool, outgoing personality that you are. And watching the show, at some point, <laughs> I was nervous because I was scared that guys would try to put you in, like, the homie category. Right. Have you found that to be your experience with dating in the past? Right. Well, ironically, it's always um, it worked differently on the show. I, it's funny you even pointed that out in real in regular life, because this was real life. I, I hate that. I keep saying it. <laughs> but outside of this show, the friend thing uh, has always worked for me. It eventually turns into a relationship, sometimes very quickly. I tend to get into relationships very fast. However, on the show, it was me coming into my whole I like everybody type thing and it being just platonic. I actually enjoyed that very much. And um, that's not what I was here for, though. So I had to constantly, thanks to my sis here, keep putting that in check. But <laughs> I was glad to see that. I know that I'm a guy's girl, so I don't take that negatively. It just helped me see, like, I'm, you're just in the friend zone. There's nothing more to it than that. Yeah. Now, Evelyn, for you, I laughed a lot during your interview process of the men where you would disclose that you have a 29 year old daughter. And I love how close you guys' relationship are. And she's from the shows that I've watched that you were on. She's rarely held her tongue when it came to your preferences <laughs> in men. So what was her reaction to your participation in the show? Um, well, she didn't want me to do it, actually. You know, she didn't know what this was going to be. You know, I retired from, you know, reality TV and she was proud of me for doing that. So she didn't know what I was stepping into. She didn't know what this looked like. And for her, she was like, listen, you you already left. I I'm afraid that this is going to cause chaos. You have Leo. So she was very opinionated. I told them Shanice and I had one of the biggest fights 
we've ever had in our relationship because of this show because she didn't want me to do it but in hindsight now she's like okay i get it i uh, i was wrong you were right but shanice has been spot on she's very spiritual Mm -hmm. she has been very spot on with my past relationships and i should have listened but she was also younger so she didn't feel comfortable Mm -hmm. enough to you know share that and say hey I don't really think that person is for you. She she knew like like uh, uh, Nivia said when she meets somebody she's in a relationship and she's like ten toes in right away. <laughs> right. That was me. So you know she didn't have time to 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 voice her opinion and say mm-hmm. I don't think this is good for you. Right. Now that she's older, um, she definitely gives me her feedback, um, and it was nice for her. It, it's 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 nice to have her. You know give me pointers and, and give me advice of, you know, what she thinks because she does it. She knows me better than anybody. Now, how did you guys go about helping one another navigate through the process? Were you guys vying for the same man and like, were their feelings <laughs> hard to shake at some points and who was the most outspoken and saying yay or nay when it came to the other Queens? We were outspoken with each other. I think we was calling each other, pulling like, no, girl, what is that? Uh-uh. Well, I think this and giving each other initially a fair shot. Like yeah. Evelyn and I transfer a couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, all right, you try them out. Hell. Yeah, and there was saw no that in hard the few episodes that we saw. Right, yes. right. <laughs> now, once, once, as the show progresses, you'll see once it gets to like choosing, choosing, right. we're not interfering with each other's, you know, suitors, possible yeah. prospects. Yeah. But um, it was cool. It was a mutual. We talked about it, everything, every date, every guy, and our different experiences with them, with each other. So, yeah, we were real with each mm-hmm. other through this whole process. So she may vibe somebody, and Tamar and I would be like, girl, girl mm, no, that is not the <laughs> one for you. You know, and vice versa. Like, uh, no, like uh, Tamar would be like, he got to go. He got to go. I don't know what y'all see in him. I would be like, well, you know, he's really sweet and whatever. And maybe you'll be like, yeah, like, I don't know. So we would have like these little powwows. Like, powwows. Um, we, group texts. Like, I don't know about this. Right, one. So group chat. We really, we really had these conversations in front of the camera and off the camera, mm-hmm. really trying to navigate all these guys because it's a lot of different personalities. Right. You don't know who's being themselves. Mm-hmm. We don't know what happened on her date that maybe can give me insight mm-hmm. and maybe be like, oh, no, he's done. Mm-hmm. So it, I think that was cool, like, that we have that sisterhood and right. that we kind of, you know, we dated these guys together, but we also eliminated them together. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pleasure speaking with all three of you. Hopefully you found your king. And if not on this show, then, you know, he's on the way. Hello. Then, all right, girl. Bye. Bye.